believers, and I want you to welcome with me tonight Coach J.C. Praise God. Like Pastor Sharon said, my name is Coach J.C., and I am here tonight for one reason and one reason only, and that is to show each and every one of you in here how you can start winning more as a Christian. If you're here and you can say, Coach J.C., there's an area in my life that I want to cross over in so that I can be more and achieve more, so that I can win more as a Christian and help others win. If that's you, raise your hand, yell at me, and say, I do. I'm not here tonight to talk to you about what the enemy's going to do. Because last time I checked, he was already defeated. Last time I checked, we already won. And I can tell you this, I ended up here at Oral Roberts University with big goals, big dreams, and ambitions to play basketball. I was in a 600 square foot apartment out here in Oklahoma by myself, threw away my awesome story that I created for myself to get my family out of the poverty-stricken world, to threw away the basketball opportunity, and I was at a downtime, a desperate situation. Has anybody in here ever been in a desperate situation? You, th you know what I'm talking about. A time where I was contemplating, do I even want to go on with life? Is this worth it? I made a choice at that time in my life that put me in a downtime, that put me in a time where I was at rock bottom. And today you're going to learn how the power of choice is a powerful thing. It says, but I have come that you may have life and have life what? More abundantly. I said, what time is it? All right, you know what you got to do? Get me at least three jumping jacks. Come on, there you go. Look at them. Yes, yes, yes. And I truly believe that after today, some of you are going to realize how to start winning and increase your winning percentage when it comes to your physical body. Everywhere you turn, the latest and greatest infomercial gadget. Everywhere you turn, the latest and greatest diet books. There's a ton of information out there. I believe most people know what it takes to get their body back to a normal state. They're just not doing it. Your weight loss is a state of mind. You living an abundant life is a state of mind. You crossing over, like we're talking about, it's a state of mind. Success and failure does not just happen one day. But here's this verse that I took a hold of. It says, do not be conformed to the things of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It starts right here. You've got to recreate a yes environment. We have the same spirit of faith. We also believe in, therefore, we speak. I will lose 50 pounds. I am an overcomer. I am a winner. You've got to start to see yourself 30 pounds lighter. You've got to start to see yourself doing things you've never done. So you got to start to think, speak, and act as if you're already there. So number three is act. I'm not going to fool you today and sit here and tell you, yeah, if you create the winning mindset, that's all you need to do. You'll drop the weight. You'll live a healthy life. You'll be, no. You've got to act. And I'm here today to tell you that just like my man says right here, it's not about how you feel. Some of you might never feel more than 10% or 20% about getting up a little early and exercising. But if you do what you always did, you'll get what you always got. You cannot go by how you feel and win as a Christian. Remember what I told you. you got to think, speak, and act as if you already have it. Any area of your life, you can do it in. Here's the small, simple, disciplined things that I'm going to do every single day to win. The depression was strong, hoping that I didn't wake up when I went to bed at night. But the same God that rescued me at that time, He's here today and he cares about something as small to you that you might think it's small, but your physical health. And the last time I checked, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Some of you in this room tonight, you don't have a someday. Your someday is today. So if you're in this room tonight and you could say, you know what, Coach JC, what you said has resonated with me. Maybe you're hearing you say, you know what, I just need a little motivation. I haven't taken ownership of an area of my life. I have not been winning fully as a Christian. Maybe it's not in your health. Maybe it's another area. Tonight is your night. And I want you to do whatever you need to do to take Praise action. God. I don't know Praise where you're at God. today, but some of you are losing physically, and you need to change a few things. If that's you, feel free to come up. If it's not in your health, that's okay. Maybe you want to start winning another area. We're talking about cross crossing over. That may be you tonight. 